The Story of Nehemiah Nehemiah was a cupbearer to King Artaxerxes. That might sound like an insignificant job, but the cupbearer was a very high-ranking position. Nehemiah was almost like a bodyguard. The king trusted Nehemiah with his life. One day, Nehemiah was serving King Artaxerxes, and the king asked, Why are you so sad? You look like someone who is very troubled. Sir, the city where all my family is buried is in ruins, and the city gates have been reduced to cinders. Why, why wouldn't I be sad? So how can I help you? Nehemiah quickly prayed to God, and then said to the king, If it pleases the king, and if the king thinks well of me, send me to Judah, to the city where my family is buried, so that I can rebuild it. Because of God's favor, the king gave his approval to send Nehemiah to Judah to rebuild his home city. My king, if you would also be so kind, could you provide me with letters to the governors across the Euphrates that would authorize my travel to Judah, and also an order to the keeper of the king's forest to supply me with timber for the beams to make the gates, the wall of the city, and the house where I'll be living? And the king granted all that Nehemiah had asked. And so, Nehemiah arrived in Jerusalem. After he had been there for three days, he got up in the middle of the night. He took some of his men and inspected the city walls and gates. Jerusalem was a wreck. The walls were so bad, it was embarrassing, and the gates were all destroyed. Some you couldn't even get through. Nehemiah said to his men, Come, let's rebuild the wall of Jerusalem and not live with this disgrace any longer. Let's get to work! But not everybody was excited about Nehemiah's plan. Sanballat, the governor of Samaria, and Tobiah, an Ammonite, heard about Nehemiah rebuilding the city. Sanballat grew angry and ridiculed them, saying, What are you feeble Jews doing? Trying to rebuild the city walls? And look at the charred stones that they're pulling out of the rubbish and using again. <laughs> Nehemiah turned to God and prayed. He asked that God use their own words and insults against them and to not forgive them for it. Then Nehemiah and his people worked hard to rebuild the wall, and soon the wall was half its original height. Angry about that, Sanballat and Tobiah plotted to lead an army against Jerusalem to bring about riots and cause trouble and confusion, for they did not want the city to be rebuilt. But again, Nehemiah and the people prayed to God, and God guarded the city day and night to protect everyone. Do not be afraid. Remember the Lord who is great and glorious will fight for us and protect us. From then on, half of the men worked while the other half defended the wall. Nehemiah told the officials and the rest of the people that whenever they heard the sound of a trumpet, they were to join them, for God would be with them. Just as promised, God continually helped and protected everyone as they rebuilt the walls. And Nehemiah continued to pray to God for strength. Nehemiah and his people worked from sunrise to sunset and soon, the wall was finally finished in early September, just 52 days after they had begun. Then, there was a great celebration and dedication of all that God had done and was doing to help them rebuild the city walls and the city of Jerusalem. <laughs>